I've got some Himalayan pink salt here. You guys can see that if you look closely. You see how like the, the grains and the granules are pink and sort of different colors. And you know, online folks say that this Himalayan pink salt is healthier for you. Um, they say that it's got minerals and that it may detoxify, that it's just better for your overall health. And so, I mean, the question is, is that true or not? And especially as we compare it to table salt, this is just a big uh, thing, a table salt that I have at home. Um, you know, is this Himalayan pink stuff salt better than the table salt? Okay, well, uh, let's just jump right in. By the way, I'm, Do I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. It's good to see you. Um, sorry to burst your bubble, okay? But the truth of the matter is, uh, no, Himalayan pink salt is not necessarily any healthier or better than regular table salt. Let me explain to you, okay? First of all, um, you know, many of the salts that we know about, the Himalayan pink stuff like this, I also actually have some sea salt um, sitting right here because I like to use sea salt if I'm using like the kind of the big granules, right? Um, sea salt, kosher salt, table salt, Himalayan, all of this all these types of salts have about 40% sodium content. In other words, they have about the same amount of sodium in them. So from a sodium perspective, no, there's not one that's any more advantageous than the other. And remember that too much salt wreaks havoc on your body. It's not good for your heart. It's not good for so many other organs. By the way, check out, I've got some other videos on how much salt you should be taking in. Also, I've got some recommendations for low salt diets like the DASH diet and others. I'll make sure I link them here and I'll put them in the description of the video. DM me if you just don't, if you don't see them, okay? Um, but so that's the first thing is like all salt needs to be watched very closely. We don't want you to have too much. Now, the other thing people say is they'll say, oh, but Dr. Jen, like the, the pink salt, look, it's got the pink granules and like it's the pink granules means it's got minerals in it and that's not wrong like we know that some of the color has to do perhaps with some of the minerals involved with this type of salt the, the himalayan pink salt calcium magnesium potassium uh, but the truth of the matter is the amount of these minerals in the salt is relatively low, meaning you don't have to eat Himalayan pink salt to get those minerals in your diet. You can just eat food. Um, you'll get you'll get those minerals from the food you eat. And once again, we need to be cautious about salt in general. OK. Um, and then the last thing. And by the way, my sources um, are American Heart Association, Cleveland Clinic, WebMD and a few other uh, a few other sources. The other thing Cleveland Clinic makes, I think, a really good point of saying that table salt is the only salt with adequate amounts of iodine. Now you may be saying, well, what's, what's the deal with iodine? Well, we really need it for the health of our body, but thyroid health in particular. Okay. It's really important. So keep this in mind when it comes to table salt, okay. Uh, versus other types of salt. The point here, and I, I hate to, to burst some bubbles, but I do think it's really important is that Himalayan uh, pink salt is um, not necessarily any healthier or better than any other type of salt. The most important thing to understand is that most salts have about 40% sodium content. And the most important thing is to actually reduce the amount of salt we're taking in because as a society, we are generally taking in too much salt. Um, by the way, I also have another video talking about the some of the differences between um, sea salt and regular salt, which one is healthy. I will link that video as well. Make sure you take a look. But you guys asked me to do a video on this uh, Himalayan pink salt. I think it's really important. If you like it, that's fine. Okay. But just don't expect it to perform any particular miracles and watch your salt, your sodium intake all together for your blood pressure, your heart, etc. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on our health expert and video creator. I do daily videos and all sorts of stuff um, on Facebook. Please like and follow my page. For those of you who send stars, thank you in advance. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Uh, also, check out my uh, free health newsletter, doctor at drjencottle.com. You can sign up for that. Also, follow me on social at Dr. Jen Cottle. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.